right, we just hit the gym. Thought I'd stop in here real quick. Okay, make a quick video on the three biggest mistakes that pre-meds make when they're studying for the MCAT. And okay, not only have I done these mistakes, but I've seen these mistakes happen for every single pre-med that I take on my tutoring program. Okay, you guys all do this. <laughs> Mistake number one is having way too many resources. Okay, you gotta be a little strategic about this. Okay, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, I bought all you world 2000 questions, I bought all the next step and blueprint full length exams. I'm also going on YouTube and looking up every single Khan Academy video that's partnered with the AMC. And I'm going through a 300 page document on Kaplan. And I have Anki. And you know what? In Anki, I have two decks downloaded. I have Mile Down and Ortho 528. And I'm making Anki cards on my mistakes. And I got all the Kaplan series books. And you know, I made this Google Doc document of my whole entire schedule and everything I'm gonna get done by today, everything I'm gonna get done by tomorrow. And I have every little thing planned out and every single subject and topic planned out as well. With all the AMC stuff and reviewing, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, I'm all for grinding and making sure that you're prepared to the utmost for the MCAT. Like, fuck yeah, work hard, get that score, you know what I'm saying? But if you have all these resources and if you look at your schedule and you put a lot on your plate, okay, more than you can handle, you're gonna procrastinate. You're gonna lose motivation, okay? And and you're gonna burn out for like a couple days or even a week, okay? Okay, I know when my students burn out. It's very obvious. And listen, dude, I have a lot of willpower. I hit the gym at like 5.30 a.m. every single day. And I've been doing that for like, I don't know how long, okay? I have a lot of willpower. And even me trying to study all this stuff every single day leading up to the exam, like, I burnt out. And some people don't even realize they're burning out. And you're gonna have problem retaining the information. You're going to stress. And you're gonna stress and you're probably stressing a little bit right now because that's why you clicked on this video you were stressed out a little bit and you're like oh my god i hope i don't make these mistakes that this guy with the hat is telling me in camera right now listen if this is you and you're not sure which resources to pick or get rid of or you're not sure how to schedule your mcat studying plan send me an email right now and we'll hop on a zoom call and i'll guide you through it get your sleep eat right eat right i bet if i go in your anki deck i'm gonna see a lot of overdue cards please do anki every single day. And number two is neglecting physics. Listen, get your physics on point. If physics on the MCAT is easy, okay? It's not that bad, okay? Physics in a college course, especially if it's not online, is way harder. That's fucking bad. Physics is like what, like 25% of the CP section? Okay, that's equal to like 12, 13, 14 physics questions that are easy points. Memorize your equations, and that's half the battle. So Eric Med is proud to say that we officially gotten 34 pre-meds to hit their target score in the BB and CP sections, okay? So no retakes, just straight first time hitting their target score and definitely beyond, okay? So we had 34 pre-meds do that, so applaud for that. And number three, and I see it time after time after time again, damn, a pre-med will take a practice test, a practice full-length exam, they'll get their score back, and they'll look at like, let's say, a CP section score and their target score was like a 130 and instead they got like a 127 and they'll review their FL and be like, oh my God, I could have gotten a 130. I knew the answers to the questions I got wrong. I can't believe I made these silly mistakes and got this wrong. And odds are, you're right. You could have gotten right. Odds are, you probably knew what you were doing. You did know the answer. You just chose the wrong answer. A lot of you guys know your content. Like, a lot of you guys know your shit. Like, if I ask you right now to describe the buoyant force, hey, what's Benoli's principle? How do I find the electric potential energy stored in the capacitor? You guys will probably tell me. If I ask you, hey, what's the point of glycolysis, Krebs, and electron transfer chain? You guys will probably tell me that, like, right away, and it'll give me a pretty good answer. But when it comes to applying that to like an MCAT passage or question, like you guys are like blind picking answers and you guys like shit yourselves. So like you guys shit your pants. And you guys are like, uh, this answer is right. All right, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> and if you guys look at my breakdowns or if you haven't looked at my breakdowns, check them out now. A lot of students come to me and they're like, hey, Eric, like you made it so easy. And it's because you know what I'm talking about. You know your shit, okay? But when it comes to passage breakdown time, like your test taking and your confidence isn't there. And that's something big on the MCAT. And I stress this in all my videos, guys. Like if you're going through a passage or a practice test and you're thinking in your head like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. What the heck did they just say? If you have that mindset coming in, you're gonna manifest that. The passage is gonna be way more complicated, okay? But if you come and you approach the passage, like this is not bad. I know this stuff here, okay? I have the abilities. I have the knowledge and confidence to take what they're giving me and answer the question. 
I don't know what specific point number three was. It was kind of just ranting, but you know what I mean. The BB and CP sections for the MCAT is made out to be, be way harder than it really is, okay? It's not that bad. Listen, you've gotten through undergrad. You've gotten through organic chem and those hard courses, okay? You have what it takes to do really well in the MCAT. Trust me. Believe you can do it. Like, listen, it's a lot, okay? I'll give you that. It's a lot. That test is a lot. But it's not as hard as people make it out to be. Trust me. But if you guys want to be tutored by me, go ahead and send me an email at ericmedicine1919 at gmail.com. My rates and fees are way, way less, okay, than the rates and fees for other online MCAT tutors, okay? They charge ridiculous prices. They're charging like $500, $200, $100 an hour for just an hour, okay? I don't do that. I charge way less than they do. So if you want, go ahead and send me an email right now. Right now, my tutoring is booked. Like, I have no more spots. But free spots are opening up here and there. So send me an email, we'll chat, and we'll see what we can do. Subscribe down below because we're about to hit 500 subscribers and that is ridiculous. I'll see you guys in the next video. Who's calling me right now? Yo. Hey, what's up? Do you mind? Why do you have court? I had snow on the top of my car. Yep. Did you never pay the ticket? There was, I couldn't pay the ticket.